Welcome to this educational video about the Basset Hound Standard, developed by Mariano Yalan from the Morning Dew Sweepers Basset Hound Kennel. Origin, Great Britain, Utilization, Scent Hound, FCI Classification, Group 6 Scent Hounds and Related Breeds, Section 1.3, Small Sized Hounds, with Working Trial. Brief Historical Summary the Basset Hound was reputedly bred by monks in France in the Middle Ages to hunt in heavy cover and is able to hold its nose close to the ground. Though closely related to the entire family of French Bassets, the breed was developed to perfection in Britain. He is a dog capable of hunting his natural prey, the hare, persistently at a relatively slow pace over prodigious distances. General appearance, short-legged hound of considerable substance. Well-balanced, full of quality. It is important to bear in mind that this is a working hound and must be fit for purpose. Therefore, should be strong, active, and capable of great endurance in the field. Behavior and temperament. Tenacious hound of ancient lineage, which hunts by scent, possesses a pack instinct and a deep melodious voice. Placid, never aggressive or timid, affectionate.
head. There may be a small amount of wrinkle at brow and beside eyes. In any event, skin of head supple enough as to wrinkle slightly when drawn forward or when head is lowered. Cranial region. Top of muzzle nearly parallel with line from stop to occiput, and not much longer than head from stop to occiput. Skull. Domed with prominent occipital bone of medium width at brow and tapering slightly to muzzle. Stop. Moderate. Facial region. Nose. Entirely black except in light colored hounds when it may be brown or liver. Large and well-opened nostrils. Nose may protrude a little beyond lips. Muzzle. General appearance of foreface lean, not snippy. Lips. Flues of upper lip overlap lower substantially. Jaws, teeth. Jaws strong with a perfect regular and complete scissor bite, i.e. the upper teeth closely overlapping the lower teeth and set square to the jaws. Eyes. Lozenge shaped, neither prominent nor deep set. Dark, but may shade to mid-brown in light-colored hounds. Expression, calm and serious. Light or yellow eye, highly undesirable. Ears, set on low, just below line of eye. Long, reaching only slightly beyond end of muzzle of correct length, but not excessively so. Narrow throughout their length and curling well inwards, very supple, fine and velvety in texture. Neck, muscular, well-arched, and fairly long with pronounced but not exaggerated dewlap. Body, long and deep throughout length, withers and quarters of approximate same height. Back rather broad and level, from withers to onset of quarters not unduly long.
loin may arch slightly. Chest. Four chest fitting neatly into crook when viewed from front. Breast bone prominent, but chest neither narrow nor unduly deep. Ribs well-rounded and sprung, without flange, extending well back. Underline and belly. There should be adequate clearance between the lowest part of the chest and the ground to allow the hound to move freely over all types of terrain. Tail. Well set on, rather long, strong at base, tapering with moderate amount of coarse hair underneath. When moving, stern carried well up and curving gently. Saber fashion, never curling or gay. Forequarters. General appearance. Upper forearm inclined slightly inwards, but not to such an extent as to prevent free action or to result in legs touching each other when standing or in action. Some wrinkles of skin may appear on lower legs, but this must on no account be excessive. Shoulder. Shoulder blades well laid back. Shoulders not heavy. Elbow. Turning neither in nor out, but fitting neatly against side. Forearm. Four legs short, powerful, and with great bone. Carpus. Wrist. Knuckling over highly undesirable. Forefeet. Large, well knuckled up and padded. Forefeet may point straight ahead or be turned slightly outwards, but in every case, hound always stands perfectly true, weight being borne equally by toes with pads together so that feet would leave an imprint of a large hound and no unpadded areas in contact with ground.
Hind quarters. General appearance. Full of muscle and standing out well, giving an almost spherical effect when viewed from rear. Some wrinkles of skin may appear between hock and foot, and at rear of joint, a slight pouch of skin may be present, but on no account should any of these be excessive. Stifle, knee, well bent. Metatarsus, rear pastern. Hawks well let down and slightly bent under, but turn neither in nor out and just under body when standing naturally. Hind feet, large, well knuckled up and padded. In every case, hound always stands perfectly true, weight being borne equally by toes with pads together so that feet would leave an imprint of a large hound and no unpadded areas in contact with ground. Gait movement, most important to ensure that the hound is fit for purpose. Smooth, powerful, and effortless action with forelegs reaching well forward and hind legs showing powerful thrust. Hound moving true both front and rear. Hawks and stifles never stiff in movement, nor must any toes be dragged. Skin, supple and elastic without any exaggeration. Coat, hair, smooth, short and close without being too fine. Whole outline clean and free from feathering. Long hair, soft coat or feathering highly undesirable. Color, generally black, white and tan tricolor lemon and white, bicolor, but any recognized hound color acceptable. Size. Height at the withers 33 to 38 centimeters. Faults. Any departure from the foregoing points should be considered a fault, and the seriousness with which the fault should be regarded should be in exact proportion to its degree and its effect upon the health and welfare of the dog and on its ability to perform its traditional work.
Disqualifying faults. Aggressive or overly shy. Any dog clearly showing physical or behavioral abnormalities shall be disqualified. NB. Male animals should have two apparently normal testicles fully developed into the scrotum. Only functioning and clinically healthy dogs with breed typical confirmation should be used for breeding.